We're now joined by two of the Sugar Free Farm campmates, Jane McDonald and Mark Lebet. Welcome to both of you. Thank so you. we are sat here in front of all of this lovely, gorgeous looking food, all of which you weren't allowed to go anywhere near mm. whilst you're this at the is, farm. This is your combined diet. So yeah. This is what you ate between the two of you in the space of a week. Yes, and, and not only that, there was a lot more. There was a lot more food than this. It Why? took you by surprise, didn't it, how much you were actually eating? You thought you were doing all right. I thought I'd go on the show and they'd say, you're absolutely perfect, we don't need to do anything for you. Because I was only a size 12, 14. Yeah. Um, I was absolutely mortified when I saw just how much sugar I was consuming. And really? why did you decide to go on this, on the farm? It was health for me, because yeah. I'm, I'm not getting any younger. And, and my partner's not getting any younger. And I met Tim later on in life, and I thought, I need as many healthy years mm. as I can possibly get mm. with him. That's Why nice, did you do it? Because I was 172 kilos when I started the show, so that's 26 and a half stone. And while I feel pretty good on it, at some point it's going to catch up with me. Mm. I should be down at about 115, 120. Mm. And sugar is my sin. I, I think it showed I was the only one who wasn't surprised by how much sugar I ate because yeah. over the years, it's how I got through things. Famously, when I was filming in America, I had a giant coffee cup full of M&Ms. I was walking around chugging it like that to keep oh me going gosh, through the day. Wow. And I didn't... That, that was what I did. So definitely addicted wow, to sugar. Gosh. Oh, no doubt. I, by any psychological test, I would fail or pass that so what? So I, I have... A spoon and a half of sugar in my tea in the morning um, and if I don't have that uh, I, it tastes horrible I can't bear mm -hmm. the, the, the taste so how long did it take you guys to re-educate your taste buds so that you didn't miss it I'd say about two weeks for me mm. that once I got out the farm I thought that's it I'm gonna go back to normal mm -hmm. but actually my taste buds have been re-educated as and now I can't, I can't touch the red wine now. Really? Yeah, what no. about you? you? Unfortunately, it didn't work. <laughs> oh, um, oh when no. they gave me a ginger biscuit at the end of the show to see, right, you should find the difference, I just went, that's the greatest ginger biscuit I've ever <laughs> tasted. <laughs> oh, no. It's, um, I, I still love all this stuff. The difference is now it's willpower. Mm. What I can say now is when they did that uh, thing putting all the sugar bags out, they actually left it in a barn across from a house, unlocked and unguarded all night. Mm. I was tempted on one or two points to go, like, really? Do across you have, there and blame it on the rats. Uh, but it was willpower. <laughs>